we're all excited to know more about stock market. For today's video we were going to tackle about a book review about stock market. This book review is all about Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits by Philip A. Fisher. These are the key takeaways from this book. Widely respected and admired, Philip Fisher is among the most influential investors of all time. His investment philosophies, introduced almost 40 years ago, are not only studied and applied by today's financiers and investors, but are also regarded by many as gospel. This book is invaluable reading and has been since it was first published in 1958. To buy truly outstanding businesses at not mouth-watering multiples, you must possess a genuine conviction that it is a business with a long-lasting competitive edge. The main point is spending time looking beyond the numbers to gain a better understanding of the business. Apply your time to solvable tasks, not senseless economic predictions. A properly chosen stock might never be sold. Trust smart investment research, not business insiders. Financial reasons for selling. Sell if the investor made a mistake. Sell if the company no longer has the factors that made you like it. Management change. The company is too large now. Sell if better opportunities are out there. Don't sell if you think it is overvalued or the price has advanced. It will only take a few years to have the valuation actually catch up. You can never predict a bear market. 5 more don'ts for investors. Don't be too diversified The advantages of diversification are overstated. Know your small companies well. Have 5 stocks on hand Don't be afraid to buy on a war scare. On dips, buy. 3. Don't be influenced by what doesn't matter. People will be influenced by past share prices, P.E. ratios, and valuation assumptions. However, past valuation levels are irrelevant, and investors should look forward. Don't fail to consider the right time to buy a growth stock. Timing and price both matter for growth stocks. If the price is overvalued, wait. Don't follow the crowd. It's not easy as everyone is influenced by the world around us, seeing through waves of optimism and pessimism. What to buy? An investment strategy should be tailored to the financial situation. While you can get good bargains in value investing, the small upside of 50% does not compare to growth investing. Select companies that don't cost much to operate or produce. The company needs to recognize public taste, understand what the potential buyers really want, and react promptly to these changes. Mark it by explaining the advantages in the buyer's terms. To be a successful investor, you have to be willing to dig. A company's true value is based on so much more than its stock price alone. The book teaches you how to use the scuttlebutt method, or a method that is used to extract information related to the company's performance and evaluate whether this company is worthwhile for investment. That's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned many new things about the stock market. Kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Also, follow our Facebook page to learn more about the stock market.